I'm Dr. Sue Chang from the College of American Pathologists and City of Hope. As a pathologist, I'm your doctor who specializes in diagnosing diseases through microscopes and laboratory medicine. When you get a pap test, HPV test, or some other types of gynecologic tests, I'm the specialist who evaluates that specimen and provides results to you and your primary care physician. I'm here today to answer some of your most common questions about pap smear tests, HPV tests, and results that you may see in your pathology report. Here's a question. What if your pap smear was abnormal? What happens next? You may see terms in your pathology report like atypical squamous cells of undetermined significance or atypical glandular cells of undetermined significance. These might be scary words, but it doesn't mean that you have cancer. It does mean that you should have a follow-up appointment to discuss additional testing or examination. Remember, the pap smear test is a screening test, meaning that it is the first piece of information that may require additional testing to get a final diagnosis. One next step in testing may be something called a coposcopy. This is where your gynecologist or primary care physician examines the cervix and takes small tissue biopsies to send to a pathologist like me to review under the microscope. Thanks for watching. I hope I've answered some of your questions. You can find more answers to questions about your pathology report at yourpathologist.org.